are you doing? Oh, I'm uh, packaging up orders for the Gishin Funakoshi project. Hi, my name is Elisa Ao, former WKF World Champion in Kumite and now the President of USA Karate, the national governing body for the sport of karate and the only organization recognized by the International Olympic Committee. I'm happy to introduce to you today the newest episode of Dragon Talk Video Magazine. Enjoy! And don't forget to become a member of USA Karate today. Visit usanKF.org for more information. Keep your legs about shoulder width apart. This is a bit too wide and you don't want to be in a straight line. Step out just your shoulder width. Bending only your front knee, keeping your back leg straight. We're going to first step forward into front stance and do oizuki or thrust punch. So with your back hand, you're going to step in and punch. Remember to keep your elbows in tight. Don't open up over here. Okay, let's step forward, oizuki. Itch. Okay, as you step in, you don't want to come up. At this midpoint, you have to stay down. Keep your head level the same the entire time. Knee. Sankyas. And when you pivot, first thing you do is move your back leg over. So move your back leg. Okay, and then turn your body down. Bump. Go. Here, let's do the same thing going back. Oizuki. Itch. As you step forward, touch and off. Knee, touch and off. So let's do that pivot slowly again. Back leg across. Turn around, down lock. you're attacked with a knife, you need to minimize your injury. This is the attack. He's up on one knee, which is okay, doesn't matter to me. But all I'm going to do is, and you have to do this fast. Be one, two. Okay, and hold it. This is not a nice technique. Ah. This is going to come out. It's going to come up. Turn. Okay? And the right hand is, that's his base right there. I've got to move that base. He's up. Now. He's up down. Now. At that same time, my left hand has to come up from underneath, down on the inside. Now, I'm not going to try and lift his arm off. He's got weight. Okay? All I'm going to do is bring my forearm, try and bring my forearm up under his arm. It won't make it. Okay? But it's good enough. Okay? So he, he can be here. I'm going to come up underneath and try and, I'm trying to turn it to my left, but I'm also going to turn my head at the same time and push with the arm. Okay, will I get cut? Probably. Okay. Is it better to get size the other way? Yes. Most preferable. Most preferable. Okay. And then from this position, I now at this point I have my arm, forearm against his arm, forearm. I'm just going to roll in. Okay. And it's all tight. And once I'm here. If I keep rolling or take this arm out, his elbow is going to go. You dislocate the elbow, you remove the weapon.
developed his uh, body to something that was known as the Gregor body. That's a picture that I took, and that was the last time I saw him in 1980. He's holding a Joe, so we had some, some Joe Jitsu practice. I think Don Drager would probably like us to remember him training and practicing the martial arts. So let's let's watch him. Since my brother died in the circuit, I need your help. Keep believing. You have what it takes because you have God inside of you. To the Polynesian 2 Mulepo system, the dirty style, showing the first generation of Lima Lama. As he's grabbing me here, okay, I'm doing this, okay, spinning here, coming down and from inside in this position. And moving here, I'm stepping in here without his, without thinking, elbow here, around, okay, down to the groin, up, and bang. Actually, when you're fighting, you know, it's all dirty. You can bite, spit, grab. As an example, the way we was always taught by Grandmaster Tabora was, is that we don't necessarily have a set pattern of first block, then punch, then we're gonna come in for the slap. Everything is, is reactionary, action for reaction. If, if this man's attacking me, I have to be able to adjust constantly, split second. So as the man's coming in, I have to move when he's moving. If his body changes, I have to change. <laughs> 